Christians, it's Kamala. I'm so excited to share this with you. I found it on a webcam, and it's the same webcam that had the face of Jesus in blood. It was red for about 50-something days, and then it was gone. Well, look at the date here. It's March 31 at a certain time, and I went back because I found this and you can see there that is the sun or the moon. It's the land of the midnight sun, so I'm not sure which one it is. But look at what I found. Okay, here we are on April 1. Look at that light. Look where the moon is. It's on the ground. It's on the ground. The moon has fallen in this webcam image. I, I'm just astounded and speechless by this. It's not a lens flare. That's God giving a sign. That moon is right there. It's fallen, as scripture says. And to show you, I went back an hour. It's not there. There's something there in the sky, but that looks like a bright star. I also went back for many days and looked at the exact same time, and it's not there. It's just on April 1. It had to have been the moon, because as you go forward, the sun is rising. I'm going to show you this again. I think it's just incredible. And here's the close-up view of it. And you can definitely see the mountain. Bible scripture is coming true. Maybe God wants us to wake up really fast. Because it's in scripture that the sun and the moon don't give their light. Something else I wanted to share with you. This was an accidental photo that I was taking of the sun coming up. Um, but the other photos don't look like this at all. This beam of light there, this has got to be from God. This is definitely from the Lord. You can see there's a tree there. It's just incredible how... The sun did this. God did this. <clears throat> I think it's an angel myself. I do. I think it's an angel. And this is the right way that it would have been turned. With the trees going upward. And there's a car down there. So I've turned to the scripture in the book of Luke. Chapter 21, verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. We've been seeing all this. It can't be ignored any longer. It's time to repent turn from our sinful ways, and become followers of Christ. And as God commands, be holy for I am holy, which is very hard to do. I know. I get it. But it's not too late. And Jesus will come in the twinkling of an eye. There won't be an announcement, an emergency broadcast, saying, morning, morning, Jesus is coming in three hours. Get right now. It won't be like that. The peace of God.